Yo, what's the motherfucking deal? It's Junior Lays, Ratchet and Ruthless, and you watching Refuse Media. Yeah. Uh, hey, what's happening with it though? For those that don't know, I go by the name Top Shelf Jock. I'm sitting here with my nigga Junior Lays, man, out of Los Angeles, California, man. You already know we're gonna kick off this Refuse Media interview, man. Hey, man, we already gonna start off with the first question. You already know what I always ask, man. I'm coming with the name question, man. Where the name comes from, Junior Lays? Okay, okay, see that I was raised by my stepdad, you feel me? And my stepdad named D Lays. Okay. Then, you feel me? Like, it's real deep. Like my brother died when he was young, you feel me? That was his dad. He raised me on my life. So and I never wanted to be no little but like when I was coming with the rap shit and anybody really junior and nothing like that. So I was like junior bags. For sure. In the getting chips, you feel me? Like the big bag. Ah, on top, on top, on top. I like that, okay. So how long you been doing music? See, really I've been doing music all my life, but a nigga being serious is like 2013. Okay. And then I've been writing serious since like 2013. And then like 2016, I probably started really recording. Like, yeah. Okay. Oh, that was okay. And in, and in that time, what you, what's your favorite song you recorded? Oh, I don't know. I've been recording so much. It's probably that. It's probably my little lifestyle freestyle. Though. It's a video to that? Yes, yeah, a video to that. Okay, okay. I'll check it out on Junior Lays too. Off top, because that's what I'm going to. I see you've been dropping you've been dropping videos. I've been trying, man. I've been trying. I'm late, you feel me? I'm nah, late. But 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 you got catalog though. You know yeah, I got saying? a catalog. You that's what I work yeah. on. I got a catalog. You do and got I got catalog. games that's not even out. Like okay. I work crazy. When I do work, I'll be working crazy. Okay, okay. And what's your latest shit? Uh right now I'm working on the mixtape with my brother, you feel me? Wild Fargo, which is him right here, you feel me? Okay. We got the shit okay. called Rich and Ratchet, you feel me? It's pretty much down. We're trying to get the release date for the night, so you feel me? So I've been working on shit like that. Okay, okay. Off top for sure. Okay. And you already know, man. My questions be on some on some in and out, you know, here yeah, and there yeah, shit, yeah. man. Like what's what's your favorite food, man? What? Hey yeah, you know, I've been thinking <laughs> about that all day. <laughs> I've been thinking about that all day. My favorite, I got a couple of choices. Like I fuck with Carolyn's kitchen. Okay. I fuck with we jamming. Oh, I just went there. I fuck with jamming. Yeah, I just went <laughs> I there like last jamming. week. That shit. I go. fuck with uh the Cheesecake Factory. Okay. And my niggas, we be turned up at Denny's, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we be turned up at Denny's, you Okay, me? okay, okay, off top. Okay, so shit, uh, coming up, what type of kid was you? Like, you know, geographically, where, geographically, where did you grow up? I grew up, I grew up in South Central Alabama, you feel me? So it's like, I was really a good kid, you feel me? I wasn't really bad, but I grew up in the, you feel me, the environment in the city, you feel me? So it was like, I was catching on, I was adapting, you feel me? Like, I wasn't really, like, I don't really think I was supposed to be the, well, the nigga that I am, like, as far as, like, you feel me, super gang banger and all that. Like, I was banging the hood and all that, but my brother was, he was really the nigga, like, but he was younger than me, he was a badass kid, like, you feel me? Was, but they thought, like, it was us, so you feel me, like, we was banging the hood. So once he died, Everything it was just like fuck it, so I just lost life right there. Basically, it turned into a sadness. Okay. But I thought I was a good kid. Feel me? I got good grades and all that shit. Didn't get you feel me? I was good all the way up until second grade when my brother died. You feel me? Once he died, he was right. And if you and if you could if you could holler at him, what advice would you give him? Like if you could holler at seventh grade junior lays, like what would you tell him? Um, shit. I'd just be like shit. The decisions that I made, like, I don't really regret them. It's just like, you feel me, the people I was hanging around with, I didn't really have to hang around them, you feel me, to do the shit that I did. I could have just did that on my own back then. You feel me? I just didn't know, like, if I would do the shit that I do now, yeah, at seventh grade, I would tell myself a lot. We would have had a whole little talk. Like, <laughs> we would have been plotting, you feel me, on some cold shit. On top, okay. All right, and, and what do you like about being a rapper? Like, what you like the most about it? I just really like telling stories, you feel me? I like to tell my story, you feel me? And it's like, I like, you feel me, like, tell a struggle, you feel me, like, in these ways I love it, you feel me, basically. I just like the storytelling part about it, that's it. All right, and, and now your new project, you trying to you trying to fuck with any features or anything, or are you keeping it in-house, or you fuck with Nah, 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 nigga, nigga, uh, nigga been in-house a whole lot, you feel me, nigga trying to fuck with niggas, if nigga trying to fuck with me, trying to fuck with niggas, you feel me, but it's like, Work in house all the way. Feel me? I got my own shit already going. Feel me? Producer, artists, and all that. But we are trying to fuck with people. You feel me? We ain't selfish like that. If you got it, we got it. We got it. We gone. Feel me? Off top, off top. And you fuck with sports at all? Like who your favorite sports team? I fuck with sports, but I don't fuck with sports. You feel okay. Me? Like, my cousins and all that. Like I grew up playing Pop Warner and all that shit. It was like I was already. 
knew that I wanted to be a rapper type shit. I see you be wearing that Ram shit. I'm a Ram fan. Yeah, yeah. See, St. I, Louis though. Okay, you feel me? okay, I've been a okay. St. Louis fan. Like, because you said, you wear like, that shit. You feel, me? <laughs> you feel me? I'm a Ram fan. Been a Ram fan since like you feel me. I was a Goose and Tory Hope type shit. Okay. That's when I'm a Ranch fan from back then. Okay. But you feel me? Like, I don't really be into it, like keeping up, watching game for games, some shit like that. Now nah, I watch the playoffs, you feel me? Super Bowl and shit like that. Yeah. And then basketball, you know, I fuck with the Lakers. Okay. You feel me? Even though we bad right now, but I fuck with the home team, the Lakers, you feel me? And who you fuck with musically? Like, who you listen to? Man, I listen to a game. I listen to, like, Dolph. I listen to, like, uh, Pee Wee, I listen to my nigga Young Jay from Uncle Jungles. I listen to my squad, everybody in the squad. Uh, I be fucking with RJ. Uh, who else I be fucking with? Who I be fucking with? Uh, Moneybag, yo. Uh, who else I be fucking with? Oh, an SOB nigga. I fuck with the niggas heavy. I like their little shit. Okay. Mozzie, I can't forget Mozzie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> can't forget Mozzie. I'm off with Mozzie. You feel me? Mozzie, fuck with me, bad tool. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's gonna be real slime, real slime. I fucks with Mozzie. I'm tired. He be spitting that shit. And Kodak, can't forget Kodak. So before rap, before rap, did you have any other jobs? Have you ever had a job or anything coming up? Like, Hell yeah, this shit. Man, I'm just talking about the money. Man, you feel me? I uh. Fuck out work at man. My first first ever job when I was 16, first out of camp, I was fucking doing the Liberty Tax and shit. Okay. The little signs. The little signs shit. Sign yeah, shit. Yeah, okay. That shit, you hear me? That's have real my, shit. Okay, hey look, okay. I had my bro with me up the corner, we was right there just chilling. You feel me? Living it up, you feel me? And then after that, I did a couple of temp agency shit. And then my relative, he had put me on this little shit called CRCD. It was like a little, basically like a now I'm a profit organization, you feel me, basically for helping the youth. I worked for that shit for like three years or some shit, you feel me? So I was working. I just barely, I just recently got fired on some fuck. Well, I didn't even get fired, I left. You feel me? But then on some fuck shit, you feel me? Yeah. Dealing with some street shit, you feel me, nigga? <laughs> nigga came to my job on some fuck shit and oh, told on a nigga. Shit. Like, man, that shit was crazy. That's but crazy. You feel me? I stopped working there, ended up in a different situation, making more money, huh? Yeah, off top, off top, good to hear. I was working, but like I ain't, I ain't scared of the job. You feel me? I'm familiar in that bank, used to cash and check. You yeah, hear me, man? Yeah, yeah. I'm used to that shit. Say that. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Go get a job if you ain't. Hey, that's what I be telling my young niggas though. Like, bro, y'all don't hustle. Y'all ain't like, go get the job or do something. You need some type of revenue. You can't just be. Yeah, you feel yeah. me out here, bro. My nigga, like, that's time. crazy. You gotta get the job, nigga. Go. Like my boy, you feel me? Watch, come here, bro. <laughs> this nigga been working forever. This is my boy, Wild Fargo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the artist. But this nigga been working. He still got the job. He finna go to work right now. You feel me? But it's like, nigga, we need all the bags. You feel me? Until that real bag come in and secure. Oh, he, he can tell you about jobs because he had more than me. Oh, God. Oh, what's up? Oh, what's up? All right, so shit, like, shit with, you know, with what's going on in today's world. If you could be, if you could be president, if you could be president for a day, what would Junior Lays do? Like, if you had that, if you, you know, you the president. What would you do? Hey, you know, I told you I'll be fucking with you, my nigga. I'll be watching with you. So all these questions I'll be thinking about. Like, like, but, like, I don't really know. Like, I ain't really sure. But I know it'll be something with the justice system. You feel me? Like, yeah. something. Like, it ain't even about, like, free the homies or free the gang and all that. It's just like, all right, if the niggas in jail, you feel me? They supposed to have cell phones. Like, they supposed to get me. Like, come on, man. It's like, y'all taking too much of they, like, you feel me? Like, damn. Like, y'all got too much of control of people. Like, yeah. these are still human. You feel me? At the yeah. end of the day, no matter what they did, right. like they got too much control. That's why I'll take some control from the police and the justice system. You feel me? If I was president, you feel me? Right. <laughs> I don't know how, but the nigga be trying to get some shit to twerk it up in that way. You feel All me? Top. All the time. Shit, how you feel about, I don't know, I, I would get like, 
young niggas on the west to be able to work together. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you feel about that? Like, musically you know, wise, musically wise, man, like, that shit needs to happen. Man, together. come on, man. Damn the south, south nigga, together. the south coming in with they whole nigga everything. Yeah, you feel me? Every time the south come, they bringing everything. Everything. You feel me? They bringing everything. their whole hood, nigga. Burbank told you they got made. You feel me? The whole projects, nigga, live good. You feel me? That's <laughs> how they top. coming. But out here is just so much hate and so much like I don't know. But nigga, if we work together and everybody just get over whatever they got going. Nigga, we get it, you feel me? Cause it's a gang of talent. Everybody got talent in their own way, different ways. You feel me? But we kick the flavor. So you feel me? Fuck with us, bro. We kick the flavor. Off top, off top, I fuck with it. This, you know, some spur of the moment shit. I wanna, hey, let, let's play this or that. It's something my wife, Top Shelf. Hey, here go a plug, Top Shelf T on Refuse Radio. She's my wife, a uh, radio host. Okay. She play a little game on her radio show called This or That. Mm-hmm. We, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a play it with you real quick right now. Basically, I'm gonna name two things and you gonna choose one. Here go. Say it. this or that. This or that, like an example. It's the rocker hit. Okay. Say the right shit, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. No, wait, wait. Okay, okay, no, oh no. I ain't the drinking nigga, I drink syrup, yeah, but I'm drink, saying anything. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna say anything. Okay, okay. okay. Then, that part. El Super or Superior? El Super? <laughs> The grocery store. That's a yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you call the nigga. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to Superior. Though. I'm going to Superior. Uh, shit, Buffalo Wild Wings or Wingstop? Oh, I'm going to go to Buffalo. I fuck with Wingstop, but I go to Buffalo for that. Okay, okay. Hot or cold? It depends on what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what it is. Okay, okay. Lakers or Clippers? Come on, man. I fuck with the Lakers, not the Clippers. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> on top, on top. All right. And shit. If you, all right, let me know this. You on an island. If you was on an island by yourself, nothing else, you you can only pick three three albums. Island by yourself, rest of your life. Three albums, what you write? Albums or like we could say they're mixtapes and all that. Like, all of that body of work. Okay. It's gonna probably be like one of them. It's gonna probably be like the first no fillers from Lil Wayne. Okay. It's gonna be a dedication from Lil Wayne. I'm not sure which one, you feel me? So I'm just saying, cause you know, that's when Wayne was in his bag, and dedication yeah. is gonna be a dedication. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to take like I'm gonna have to go with, like some mixed trap shit, you feel me? Like Dolph P, like, all in, like a, one of the mixes that oh. they be having on the sites where all the niggas <laughs> on there. He's like, you cheated. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? One of them shit. You feel me? I'm y'all. Mix tape with all my shit on there. You feel me with that shit? You feel me? I'm fucking with my nigga. You feel me? All right. Hey man, before we get up out of here, man, you already said you watch my shit, so you know what's coming, my nigga. Hey man, before we get up out of here, top five, dead or alive, who you fucking with? Top five, dead or alive. Wayne. Okay. Pop. Me. Mm. Uh, Dolph. And I'm from the six, so I gotta go six. Wop and Young Jay. You did. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? All the time. All the time. Shit, hey, yeah. man. Good looking out for fucking with so, me, man. Nigga, I everything I love, my nigga. Me. Once again, I'm Top Show Jock, man. It's my nigga Junior Lays, man. It's Refuse Media. Gang shit.